Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm VP CRM and Data Analysis with BISP Solutions. In this video, I'm going to cover a very interesting topic which should be very useful if you are working on wave analytics, if you are building dashboard using wave. So I have got a couple, I have got this requirement from my client and therefore I decided to share the same functionality, the same solution with all of you so that you can also implement in your business solutions. So the requirement is that we would have a wave dashboard and we would like to embed that, that wave dashboard within an, whether it's a custom object or in on a standard object along with filters. So we would like to apply filters on that wave dashboard. So let me explain the business requirement properly. My business requirement is first of all, we need to create a wave dashboard with some measures and groups and we would be going to embed that wave dashboard on account object and then I would be going to apply the automated filter based on account type selected in records. So let me explain you the requirement once again properly. For example, we have got account object and in this account object, we have got couple of records. We have a uh, couple of records in account. So I want to have a wave dashboard to be embedded here within a section, within a new section and that dashboard will be filtered automatically based on the type selected or entered within this record. So if the type is customer, that dashboard should be filtered as type. If the type is partner or prospects or partner, so it would be filtered according to that. So the dashboard should get filter based on the type selected by the user. So this functionality we would like to demonstrate I would like to demonstrate to all of you so let's solve this solution solve this problem so I have already prepared a dashboard in wave using wave and this dashboard will be displaying it would be grouped based group by industry and it uh, on y-axis we have sum of annual revenue so that's the major so our major is sum of annual revenue and the group is industry and one more filter I have applied here. So this list the types. So we have only two types right now customer and partner. So as you can see if I select customer I can apply a filter and when I select customer the total revenue the total annual revenue with every industry will get updated. For example for agriculture it is 6.3 billion and when I select customer it turned to 4.2238 this one same manner if i select partner it gets updated to 2.111 so and if we clear all the filters it will get back to its original position so first of all we will be going to embed this dashboard on an account object and then we'll see how to apply filter on top of it so for this, I'll switch to account and select edit layout. You need to keep one thing in mind that because we are going to embed this dashboard on a on an object within an object, whether it's a custom object or a standard object, this dashboard this dashboard should be stored in under shared folder. It should not be within uh, private app it should be under shared app because if any fold if any file any dashboard or lens or data set resides within private app it won't be able to access out of this op so that's the dashboard we are talking about I click on account then first of all I switch to from here this list as like wave analytics asset and you see account dashboard is appearing. So first I drag and drop a section just next to annual revenue. I'll give this name as inline 
dashboard and it would be a one column section and in this section I drag and drop this account dashboard so the dashboard is in line now let's go and check it how it looks like so I just save it and when I scroll down we can see the dashboard will appear with initial filters if there are any initial filters we have applied so it, there are no initial filters but we can apply filter here customer and uh, so this is inline filter my requirement is now my next requirement is because the type is set as customer so this dashboard should be automatically filtered as a customer so for this we need to customize the dashboard and need to write a JSON for it. So let's have a look how can we do that. I'll get to edit layout, property page. I select the dashboard, open dashboard properties page and in field mapping this will help us to apply filter. So let me increase the size if you are able to see and in this field mapping first of all I specify the data set name and then I mention here the field which we want to filter so I want to filter type and it should be based on the value selected by the user in uh, so dollar type and click on ok so let's get back to original and save it so you see when we switch to that record or any record based on the type the dashboard will be filtered and here the type is customer so by default it has been filtered based on customer so if, if I change this to partner So you see by default it has been selected as set as partner so that's the way we can apply filter based on the value selected here if I'll get back to customer again and save it so to verify more I can get back to list all the accounts and we have the types partner customer and so on and based on it we can select the record we can uh, display the dashboard now my next requirement is at the same time I want to embed this dashboard on a visual force page so in order to do that first of all your development mo mode should be enabled so I'm using URL method for building a vi visual force page so I'll give name as VF page 1 So in this case as you can see I'm getting an error message this I'm not able to create this page because the development mode is not enabled so make sure if you want if you are using this method to creating a visual force page the development mode should be enabled so I click on advanced user details within settings and I enable development mode uh, enable development mode and save it. Now let's get back and try to create a VF page again. So this time I am able to create a VF page. So I click on VF page and uh, the tag would be wave dashboard. So there is an inbuilt tag within visual force page on a visual which can be add on a visual force page name as wave dashboard and would be requiring the dashboard ID. So I'll just remove this and I write here wave dashboard and the attributes we have is dashboard ID so it would be requiring dashboard ID now to get dashboard ID I click on dashboard I open this dashboard and that's the dashboard ID so I copy this ID and paste it here that's the ID and save it 
so that's the simplest way to add a dashboard on a wave dashboard on a vf page it may it may take time to render because it would be getting the data from a wave and you can see all the app, the filters which we have initialize on a wave dashboard it will come along with all the filters and the filters will work here as well so now we can have multiple dashboards we I mean we can have dashboards with multiple lenses in a single line in multiple line so we can display the, the dashboard on a vf page so i hope you are able to understand how can we embed a wave dashboard on an object and how can we apply a filter onto it and at the same time how to embed the wave dashboard on a vf page now with bisp you can con contact us for customized training on wave analytic cloud as well as for consulting services on wave in bisp our consultant can help you design your business intelligent infrastructure configure sales wave analytics and create reports and dashboards which will enable the stakeholders from all departments to make the data driven decisions across your entire company bisp consulting service is a comprehensive collections of offering developed over time from our extensive experience working with hundreds of clients so get started faster with help setting up your infrastructure and building and implementing your wave dash dashboard and lenses so you can contact us on the following addresses thanks for watching goodbye